Hello everyone, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to do a portrait. When I was thinking of doing a portrait, many faces came to my mind. After a while I decided I should do a baby's face, maybe a child, a young kid, and that's how I narrowed down on this pretty young innocent face. Take a look at my reference picture. You can try guessing. Let me let you guess until I do the sketch. Normally I do not spend more than 20 to 25 minutes on a sketch. However, this is a portrait and I want to be accurate. I want to make sure the sketch resembles a real person in terms of all the features. It's always a good idea to study the reference picture and connect well with it. So let me tell you who the little pretty girl is. This is a childhood picture of Saint Teresa, popularly known as Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who devoted her life to God at a very early age. So there we go, let's paint. I've painted a quick background color that has given a form to the picture. So now I'm painting the basic skin tone. The child has a light skin tone, so I'm starting with the lighter shade first. And then I'll gradually move to the darker areas where I assume lesser sunlight is falling. So in this picture, I'm um, trying to portray that light is falling on the right side of the face, I mean my right, and hence the opposite side of the face would be darker. So you can see the darker shade that I'm giving on that portion of the nose where the light is falling lesser compared to the other side. Do take a look at the description section below the video to find the materials that I've used. It's always best to have the base sketch right, you know, that gives the confidence as well as a good foundation for the painting. So I'm trying to give some cadmium yellow there in the skin tone to get the natural feel. For the skin I'm using cadmium red and a little pinch of magenta which is pink. To make it lighter, I'll add more water. And as you can see right now, I'm highlighting the eyes. I'm giving the shade for the eyeballs. The darker shade of the skin is obtained by mixing a little bit of ultramarine as well. And in some cases, I add a little bit of burnt umber to cadmium red to get the darker tone. So if you add more water, it becomes lighter. So when I apply the, you know, darker colors, I try to soften the edges so that it merges well into the skin. It gives the real skin tone. And as it's a small child, you see less wrinkles on the face, it's easier to draw. Always is good to try out the color on a piece of paper and just into the painting before applying it on the painting. Always try out the um, you know value of the color before you add it. Sometimes it could be too dark or light, so it's always a testing pattern that helps. So here I'm giving the second wash of my of the skin tone. So there are different techniques that you can use and in this painting I'm using a wet on dry technique. You can use wet on wet or wet on dry. So there are different ways you can paint. There's no right or wrong. See I'm just giving some additional color on the left side of the painting because that's where the light is not falling as much as on the right. I 
I'm doing the hair now. The child has light hair with a brownish tint. So I'm using the same technique here, doing the lightest shade first. For the hair, I'm using burnt umber and cadmium yellow for the lighter shade with more water. And for the darker hair tone, I mix ivory black, burnt umber, and a little bit of cadmium yellow. It's always good to keep experimenting, um, mixing various colors, because there's no hard and fast rule, you know. And I've always struggled with the skin tone, especially. Uh, and it's always a good idea to keep trying, mixing different colors, and coming up with the right skin tone, the same way hair, hair color and, you know, whatever. So for the skin tone, um, in this whole painting, like I said, I've used cadmium red mixed with a little bit of cadmium yellow, a little bit of magenta or permanent rose you can use. And for the darker, to make it darker, for the darker tones, you can add a little bit of ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So it's just about experimenting to get the right flesh tone, you know. And um, I've used for the realistic look more yellow, cadmium yellow, pinches of that. So that I'm giving the highlights to the hair, adding the darker tones to give those curls, you know, wherever light falls, you'll see lighter tone and wherever there is no light or less light, it's darker. I'm also giving some uh, patterns to the dress, this lace, she's wearing lace around her neck and made like frills so i'm just you know trying to give some color to the dress i added more color to the background so that the face stands out so there we have the little girl ready agnes ganja Boyaggio. that's a childhood name of mother teresa and i know i'm not right there pronouncing the albanian name <laughs> Do let me know what you think. Would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with more videos. See you soon. Bye.